Um, the first question is for Daniel. Daniel, are you still here? I think he yes, is. Yes, I am, if I'm right. unmuted. Okay, so this question is for you. How can librarians and libraries prepare for containers? What would need to be done uh, to digital repositories to prepare for containers? Yes, so I, I think I, I started answering there. So I think there's two angles here. One is that um, the containers are still a moving target. And I think there, I think uh, there should be a proactive activity saying more and more people use containers. Let's help them to do it in a in a way that's actually down the road um, sensible from a preservation perspective. If it's about research, um, for example, I've I've uh, failed to mention that in in my talk, but there is no common standard on how to define, for example, the parameters that go into a container if I have a process that I can parameterize. There's no standard for that. There's no, there's no required metadata. You can do many different things in the Docker metadata, but there's no recommendation on what is really important for, from a preservation perspective. And um, the, the second angle, I think, is um, yeah, I'm not an expert in these um, digital repositories uh, from a librarian perspective. You know, the repositories that I am familiar with are just there. I just um, drop my files there and that's it. Um, but um, I think this concept of uh, ingestion uh, plays a role here. So really understanding um, and enhancing the existing um, tools to um, do what I did manually, that's look at the metadata, look at what is there, um, to integrate that into automated workflows. Great, thank you. And I think I'll just do one more question. Um, this is for Ben Wiggins. The question is, I know there's been some carrying of systematic review strategies to other science fields, but these attempts tend to be pretty messy and there aren't any protocols that have been standardized. Are you familiar with any, attempt, any attempts to standardize humanities protocols? Has there, been any, any, has there been any success in this area? Sure, thanks, Amy. Um, yeah, I, I put a few notes in the, um, in the document, but um, basically I think the answer is uh, there, there isn't a great example. Um, I've, I've been asked, I, I've been looking, uh, and, and you've pointed me personally to some of the folks who have uh, intervened in these conversations in the humanities, um, and I've been looking for them to uh, kind of direct me towards uh, good examples. And I think there's just a general interest at this point and not a lot of um, building protocols yet. Um, I actually did uh, just submit an NEH grant to kind of do uh, basically what I talked about today is kind of systematic review for uncovering um, primary source documents. Um, I'm working actually with a colleague at NYU, um, Michael Rolf, to uh, try to unearth uh, uh, all the um, insurance documents uh, related to the trans or transatlantic slave trade um, and, and see what we can do to um, really get an, uh, a better sense of where these kinds of documents might reside and then share them um, and, and show people what we've done so that they might build on our work and, uh, and do things that we haven't yet to get to or haven't yet gotten to. So um, hopefully we'll have something functional in the next few years, but um, if anyone does see anything out there, I would love to hear more about it. Thanks. Thank you, Ben.